What's key to today I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about Devin Booker and the chances of him getting traded to the Los Angeles Lakers for Kyle Kuzma. And let's get into it. The Los Angeles Lakers should trade Kyle Kuzma as part of a package to acquire the Phoenix Suns star Devin Booker, according to ESPN's Stephen A. Smith. Quote, if I could package Kuzma with a multitude of players and even a pick and I can get myself Devin Booker to join Anthony Davis and LeBron James, would I do that? Yes, Smith said. Because I love Devin Booker and I think that what has happened in Phoenix is criminal. Until they hire Monty Williams because Monty Williams can coach. And I'm proud of the job that he's doing. And he's exactly what the franchise needed. Finally, Sarver is doing something right. Okay, and I think they got James Jones in the front office. Good brother as well. I'm proud of what I'm seeing from Phoenix. The Suns are one game and a half behind Memphis and San Antonio for the 8th spot in the Western Conference, going into tonight's game at Atlanta. It took Phoenix 68 games to win 16 last season, before posting the second worst record in franchise history at 19-63. The Suns are improved, but Stephen A. Smith could see Booker as a short and long-term answer for the Lakers. Quote, LeBron James has about 3 years left, Smith said. Not on his contract, but LeBron James is going to be at LeBron James level for about 2 more years. You can say he has 3 or 4 years left. The future of the Lakers could be potentially Anthony Davis and Devin Booker. What's wrong with that? I will entertain it if I could pull it off. I'll do it. But they need to do something like that to go up against the Clippers. Essentially, the Lakers are 33-7 and and sit on top of the Western Conference. Despite that, the team simply does not feel like it is built for a championship run against the Bucs and even the Clippers. Part of the reason for this is because outside of LeBron James and Anthony Davis, the Lakers lack a legitimate third option. Kuzma was once envisioned filling this role, but he has proven himself unable to do so. That's quite a proposal. Let's start with the money part. The only way this trade can happen is if the Lakers send out Danny Green and his $14 million contract along with Kuzma and Kentavious Caldwell Pope. As one of the league's best 3 and D players, the Lakers probably wouldn't be too eager to throw Green in there. Stephen Smith also suggested that the Lakers should package picks with Kuzma to make it more appealing for Phoenix. But LA already owes their 2021 and 2023 first round picks to New Orleans, as well as a pick swap in 2024 or 2025. They can't trade picks in consecutive years, so they will be unable to send out the 2020 pick. They have no additional draft picks incoming. The war chest was empty for Davis, a move they're quite happy with right now. There's no way Phoenix will trade away arguably the team's biggest star for a role player. Also, the contracts will not work, even if the Suns wanted to do the deal. While the Lakers obviously need to make some improvements before the trade deadline, getting Booker for Kuzma is not something that is realistically possible. At least right now, Booker is worlds ahead of Booker in terms of superstar potential. This season alone, Booker is averaging 25 points, 6.5 assists, and 3.8 rebounds per game on 50% shooting from the field. Those averages nearly double Kuzma's 12.9 assists average. Even with the package of Kuzma, Danny Green, and other role players, the Suns are unlikely to pick up the phone. But while Stephen A's assessment of the Lakers needing another marksman seems true enough, he's crazy if he thinks the Suns will ever consider training away their franchise superstar. So what's the incentive for Phoenix to trade a franchise cornerstone and Booker? Kuzma has his moments, but it wouldn't be a big surprise for him to top out as a fringe all-star player. He's also older than Booker. In short, this trade is as crazy as it sounds. Devin Booker on the same squad with Davis and LeBron is fun to imagine, but his disinterest in playing defense wouldn't really mesh with the team they've built already, as good as he is offensively. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna happen, but we'll have to wait and see, and that'll close the video. What do you guys think of this trade? Do you think Devin Booker will join the Lakers? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for new, and click the bell to get notified of my future videos. I hope everyone has a great day. Peace out.